Hi, thanks for joining me today for another edition of the Bell Video Blog. I'm Eric with Bell Performance. Today we're going to talk about cetane in diesel fuel. We're going to talk about what it does, what it can do, uh, what it cannot do, and we're going to talk about some of the misconceptions about diesel cetane ratings. So anyway, uh, first things first, if you're comparing cetane and octane, uh, people uh, will kind of think of cetane as the diesel equivalent of octane and by and large they're they're kind of sort of correct about that except that there are some differences um, both cetane in diesel and octane in gasoline both of them are uh, general indicators of the combustibility of those fuels in those kinds of engines uh, the difference is that they work in uh, kind of opposite ways um, Fuel with a, a high cetane value, uh, those the, the those fuels will combust faster. A higher cetane value speeds up the combustion of diesel fuel uh, in the combustion chamber. A uh, uh, higher octane value slows down or, or retards the combustion in a gasoline cylinder, and that's important because uh, if you don't have enough octane value, if your octane value isn't what the engine's designed to to use, then the fuel will ignite too quickly, and that's when you get that pre-ignition, that knock. Uh, so the the satisfactory octane value will actually slow down the combustion of the fuel so that it will ignite at the right time relative to both the spark plug uh, spark and the top dead center position of the uh, cylinder in this in the combustion chamber so um you have for cetane value you can of course raise the cetane value of diesel fuel by adding certain chemicals certain chemical cetane improvers now those those do actually work um, they are not voodoo science, so to speak. They are not snake oil where you put it in there and you hope it does something. No, there, there are actual defined ways in which cetane improvers actually work. Uh, basically, uh, without getting too much into the chemistry of it, a cetane improver w uh, is something that is, is more combustible than the fuel is at higher temperatures and when we're talking about higher temperatures we're talking about the kinds of temperatures that are experienced within a typical engine combustion chamber so if you add x percent of of cetane improver to diesel fuel and then you expose that in the combustion environment that cetane improver is actually going to start igniting first and of course when it starts igniting it's going to cause the rest of the fuel to ignite and so mm -hmm. that causes the overall blend of the diesel fuel to ignite and combust more quickly and uh, depending on what that engine needs it will probably cause it to all ignite and combust at the right time and so the benefits that you get from that you get better combustion of the fuel, you get more power, you get a quieter running engine, uh, and you get fewer emissions, which if you have a DPF system means that you're going to get fewer unburned particles, um, and that's not going to fill out as fast. So, um, if you have heard uh, the term cetane number and cetane index, sometimes people will use those interchangeably, especially additive companies will. And it's important if you're someone, if you're a fleet director, if you're a business owner, if you have diesel trucks that use higher volumes of fuel, these are the kinds of things that you you need to watch out for because for those people, you're making decisions that affect your bottom line. You're you're not the typical average consumer who's buying a bottle of cetane improver to use in his uh, Ford F-150 diesel. No, you're you're making decisions that are are going to cost thousands and thousands of dollars and hopefully return you more thousands and thousands of dollars of benefit and ROI for your business. So. Uh, it's important to know the nuances of this so that you're not fooled. And uh, one of the nuances of this discussion is knowing the difference between cetane number and cetane index. Now, cetane number is the actual, uh, I'll say, numeric score that a given test uh, diesel fuel test sample uh, scores in an ASTM test that's run on a specific kind of engine that basically measures the combustibility, the uh, shall we say the ignition delay, uh, combustion delay uh, in a certain kind of engine. 
Um, of course, it's a standardized test so that you can compare results across all different kinds of diesel fuel oils. Um, a cetane number is a, a test score that can be influenced and can be changed by the addition of a cetane number uh, improver. Um, and that's also the, the number that you see on the pump when you go to uh, get more diesel at the gas station. It will say this, this fuel has a diesel, excuse me, a cetane number of 40 or 45. Or if you're in Japan or Europe, then you might get 50. Cetane index is actually, it's a, is an index calculation. Has, I'm not going to say it has nothing to do with cetane number because they both have to do with cetane, but it's actually more of a predictive indicator. Uh, someone will take a number of different measurements, they'll take the density of the fuel, um, and of course by density it could also be specific gravity, so they take that, and they take the measurements uh, at three different temperatures, or three different points in the distillation curve, uh, and they take those and they put those in the formula and they come up with a cetane index. Now it's useful to note that with cetane index, that, that in specifically is not affected by uh, cetane number improvers. And as such, uh, if someone is trying to, let's say, market a, a cetane improver and they talk about how uh, 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 their, you know, whatever cetane improvement formula they have is going to improve your index by X amount, you know that they really don't know what they're talking about and you should probably, uh, you know, move away from them because they're probably trying to pull the wool over your eyes. So, uh, cetane number is what you want to pay attention to. Cetane index is something you'll see referenced, but is more of a calculation uh, and is not affected by uh, cetane improvers. Now, the last thing, and this is this one's interesting. Uh, on the blog, we asked if if some is good is more better, right? Um, just as with octane, uh, just as with spark ignition engines. Uh, diesel engines are designed, they're engineered to run optimally on fuel that has a given uh, minimum cetane value. Typically it's between 40 and 45. Um, if you supply fuel that has that cetane rating, that engine is going to run its best. Um, now, if the engine requires, let's say the engine requires 42 and you put a 40 in there, well now you're not supplying enough cetane and you're going to really notice some issues with that. You're going to notice rough running, you're going to notice you're going to have a drop in mileage, not as much power, probably more emissions, all that kind of thing. And so in that situation, that's when you want to add a cetane improver because you want to raise that 40 back up to the 42 that that engine needs. Um, but what happens if your engine needs a 42 and the fuel that you got is a 42? So you put it in there, but uh, you know, being the smart people that we are, sometimes we make assumptions, and so you might think, uh, well, okay, you know, if 42 is good for this engine, well, maybe I'll add cetane improver, raise it to 45. Um, are you going to get any appreciable benefit for that? Well, the answer to that is no, not really. Your engine needs what it needs. It needs 42 cetane. You're already supplying enough cetane in the fuel already. If you raise it to 45 or 48 or 50, um, or let's say you buy a premium diesel at the pump that has a higher cetane rating, um, you may get some marginal combustion benefit. We're not going to say that there's absolutely no benefit whatsoever. But what we are saying is that there is not as much benefit as people like to think. You're going to get some very marginal benefit, but the key here is comparing that marginal benefit that you're going to get to how much extra you're paying. You know whether you're paying extra for a cetane improver, um, or you're paying 20 or 30 or however many cents more per gallon for premium diesel fuel that has higher cetane rating. You're, you're paying a considerable amount, and so you as the consumer are expecting to get considerable benefit that is at least as much as the extra you paid for it. And the bottom line is that putting too much cetane into your engine is not going to hurt your engine. It's not going to do anything negative. The only negative thing it's going to do is it's going to be negative to your budget. It's going to be negative to your wallet. So if uh, some cetane is good, more is not necessarily better. So, 
Uh, that's what we have for today. If you like this, check us out on the web at bellperformance.com and our other website, wefixfuel.com. I am Eric with Bell Performance. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.